Nature therapy, sometimes referred to as ecotherapy, describes a broad group of techniques or treatments with the intention of improving an individual's mental or physical health, specifically with an individual's presence within nature or outdoor surroundings. One example of a nature therapy is forest bathing or shinran yoku, a practice that combines a range of exercises and tasks in an outdoor environment. Garden therapy, horticultural therapy, neep therapy or even ocean therapy may also be viewed as forms of nature therapy. History and background In a crowded urban capital of Persia 2,500 years ago, Cyrus the Great recognized the need to increase human health and create a feeling of calm. In response, he planted a garden in the middle of the city. Researching scientists during the 1950s decided to look into the reasoning behind why so many people chose to spend time in nature, with special reference to notorious locations like national parks. Shinran Yoku, Sen Lin Yu, which literally means forest bathing, originated in Japan in the early 1980s and may be regarded as a form of nature therapy. Investigations on the physiological effects that result result from being in a forest began in Japan in 1990 and continue today. Howard Kleinbell coined the term ecotherapy. In 1996, in April 2018, Ching Li, a doctor at Nippon Medical School in Japan, published a book on the topic after his 25 years of research on the matter. The book was published in English and plans include translation of the book into multiple languages. There has been an increasing interest in the study of nature therapy and its forms over the past few decades, as there is an important exploration of how a person's overall quality of life can be improved through their interaction with nature and a decrease in factors like stress or depression. The process of nature therapy Stressed state – a person is in a state of physical or emotional stress. Restorative effects of nature – the person spends time in nature, resulting in improvements in physiological relaxation and the immune function recovery response. Evidence-based medicine EBM, nature directly increases the parasympathetic nervous system and heightens awareness, causing relaxation. <laughs> Health effects physical and psychological. A 2012 systematic review study showed inconclusive results related to methodological issues across the literature. Subsequently, a 2017 systematic review of the benefits of spending time in forests demonstrated positive health effects, but not enough to generate clinical practice guidelines or demonstrate causality. Additionally, there are concerns from researchers expressing that time spent in nature as a form of regenerative therapy is highly personal and entirely unpredictable. In fact, the nature can be harmed in the process of human interaction. Spending time in nature improves a person's immune system, cardiovascular system, and respiratory systems. Nature therapy can provide emotional healing, decrease blood pressure, improve a person's general sleep-wake cycle, improve relationship skills, reduces stress, and reduce aggression. Horticulture therapy, a notable form of nature therapy, has been linked to physiological changes within patients participating in an inpatient cardiopulmonary rehabilitation program. The patients experienced an overall diminishing effect of disturbance to their mood and a noticeable decrease in their measure heart rates, respectively. Horticulture therapy has also been linked to supporting a person's general well-being by boosting their positive mood and providing a viable escape from stressors occurring in daily life, as can be seen in a studied population that possessed professional diagnoses in both physical and psychological capacities. 
Although there is a heavy amount of anecdotal evidence supporting the psychosocial benefits of nature therapy, cancer patients provided positive feedback after participating in the Healing Gardens program at Cancer Lifeline in Seattle. The program has been recommended for therapeutic purposes for adult cancer patients. The effects of nature therapy can be connected to two theories, known as the stress reduction theory (SRT) and the attention restoration theory (ART). Future directions While there exists a limited amount of available studies to reference for the definitive conclusion regarding the success of nature therapy as a common practice, forms of nature therapy have been deemed sufficient in serving as complementary therapy for adult medical usage. There are signs of this field being a notable practice among children or within pediatric studies in the future.